first election, President Obama said there's no white America, no black America, there's gray America. There's uh, marriages between a man and a woman. Pass Obamacare, everybody's going to save $2,500. You'll be able to keep your doctor. Lies, lies, lies. What did Obama do? Nothing that he promised. He divided this country. There's no gray America. There's no, excuse me. There's no white America, there's no black America, there's gray America. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a little confused because this guy confuses me. But anyways, there's gray America. Lie. This guy lied so much that 2000, the last election, 2012, Castellano said, time for a change. What did I do? I spent thousand dollars and I handed it out to Mitt Romney for his election against Barack Obama. Fought hard the first time. Fought hard. Destroyed him in the first debate. But you got your Republicans, the mainstream goes, you were too harsh. You were just like Barack Obama. You talked too tough. So he held back and he got crushed. Obama beat him handily. Why? because Romney coward. So my thousand dollars is out the drain. And what do I got? I got this insect as a president. What? People, Romney, he is the first person that started this oh, oh, Obamacare with this universal health care plan. But I was gonna put it aside because he did a lot of other good things and I knew Obama was so bad. But anyway, I put up with him. Wasn't my first choice. McCain, again, not my first choice. He's a moderate. This guy used to hug <laughs> Mr. Kennedy. Kennedy, oh, you killed the girl? You were you were necking with a girl and you're Kennedy, that's all right. Your 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 brother was a president, your uh, other brother got shot. You know, no disrespect, they're both good good men, but you were kissing a girl, you're drunk, driving over, Chap Pick Bay, the, Go over the bridge, car goes over into the river, she drowns, you go, go swim down once, you couldn't find her. <laughs> you go back home, you sleep, you wake up the next morning, and you decide to report it. And guess what? Because you're a Kennedy, you got away with it. You reported a crime where a girl was underwater and drowning, that maybe they still could have saved her anything. The next day, <laughs> it's off. And then who's your buddy? John McCain, let's pass bills together. Hey, I'm John McCain. You know, the guy who said, oh, he's a war hero. Yeah, yeah, he was in the war. He was a hero because he was captured and he was tortured. But guess what? This is the same John McCain. This is waterboarding is torture. Waterboarding, let's see. What do they do to our Navy SEALs? They waterboard them to prepare them for battle. What do uh, ISIS or Al Qaeda do? They behead people, they pull their nails out, they cut their fingers off, they pull their teeth out. But waterboarding is torture. Over at the other prison, they uh, put underwear on, on uh, guys' heads, women's underwear, or they got the crayon, they put it in the toilet. Wow, that's torture. But the Al-Qaeda, ISIS, getting people's heads and sawing off. Mr. Pearl, our, one of our greatest reporters, let's cut his head off, let's do this, let's blow up, you know, we'll blow up churches, we'll kill all, all kinds of Christians, that's fine, children, whatever, that's good, but McCain says waterboarding is torture, you loser, you may have been a hero when you were a prisoner of war, but you got to fight fire with fire, when are people going to stop, Obama's bowing and kissing rings to Saudi presidents, he's over in Hiroshima, that Remember, they attacked us at Pearl Harbor. Our men were sleeping on Christmas. They're sleeping, and all of a sudden, the Japanese ambassador is in the United States shaking hands with the president and saying, we're allies. At the same time, they are bombing half of our Navy, half of our warships, blowing them up. But Obama says, we're sorry we dropped the bomb. 
folks, we save millions of lives dropping a bomb. Do I think that lives are important? Yes. But it's war and they want to snake us. You got to fight fire with fire. That's how you win a war. So, do I give a crap about Romney? No. Do I give a crap about McCain? No. Do I give a crap about Obama? Definitely no. But Donald Trump, let's see what he's going to do. Mr. Trump's a multi-billionaire. What does he want to do? He wants to build a wall around our country to protect our security of our country. Well, Rick, that's, that's outrageous. Why would they want to do Mexican? The poor Mexican people, we use them for work. Well, Mexico on their southern border has got a guarded with watchtowers or machine guns. Every other country protects their borders, but the United States can't. I'm pregnant. Oh, I'm uh, almost nine months pregnant. If I cross the border, I can get welfare for the rest of my life because I'll have my dude. It'll be a born an American citizen. I may crawl over there. I make it over. That's an American citizen. Okay, me and my husband get to stay here. Free food, free everything, free college. Folks, is this like this with every case? No. My ancestors came here. My grandmother came here, and guess what? Her sisters are stealing it in Italy. You know why? They couldn't afford to bring them over here legally. They had to get jobs for them. They had to learn English. They had to learn. We got we got some sections of town where people are born in the United States, but they still don't speak English. But you know what? You can't say that. That's not politically correct, Rick. Yeah, it is. It's pretty correct as I say it's politically correct. You don't like it too bad. Look it, you wanted to come to come to this country, assimilate. You want to come as a Muslim? I, I'm a Muslim, yeah, yeah. Let's look at the Muslim things. Here, uh, oh yeah, I got a Muslim grocery store. Here, uh, let me send money to Hamas. Let me folks, you want to come to a country? If I went to Germany or I went to France or somewhere, I'd learn the language. I got people that come to come to the United States, they signed their name, they've been here 30 years, and they put an X on the paper, they don't even want to learn how to write their name. All they want to do is sign a check and get it from the government. And I'm not exaggerating. So, what does Castellano think? Castellano thinks this. We got a lot of able-bodied people. We got some people that are handicapped. Take care of them. We got some elderly people. Take care of them. We got mentally handicapped people. Take care of them. We got some people that have kids out of wedlock. Do it once, okay. Do it twice. I understand the mistake. You don't. You don't really. But you do it three or four or five times. Enough. Why should I pay for every kid you have? When I had a kid, I had to save my money. When I wanted to buy a house, I had to save my money. Why should I sacrifice? All my friends are going out the weekend. They're all going to party. They're going to drink Hennessy. And um, they're going to make hulks. And it was hypnotic. And Castellano stays home. You know why? Castellano wants to buy a house. Castellano, why aren't you going out tonight? Castellano wants to save his money because he, he wants to better himself. Uh, Rick, why are you studying? Because if I study, I could get a better job. But but we're all having fun tonight. We're all going to party. We're going to drink a lot of drinks. Folks, enough's enough. If you're able-bodied, get a job. And if you're able-bodied and you don't have a job, let's start cleaning up the parks. Let's start cleaning up Shalott. Let's, let's start cleaning up the streets. Let's pick up glass. Let's do something. If you want to get your check every month and you don't have a job, let's do something. Let's make this city like Toronto. Toronto, you could walk down Young Street and it's spotless. You know why? People sit there all day long, a drop a paper, like Disney World, hits the ground, they pick it up. Now, if you don't want to have to do that, go out, get off your ass and get a job. If you're healthy and able. If not, don't eat because I'm not paying for your food. I'm not paying for you to sit over and sit, drink miniatures all day and party and gamble and do all kinds of stuff. If you want me to help you, help yourself. I don't want, I don't want these places like throw bottles, uh, miniatures, uh, drink, uh, lottery tickets, uh, buy lottery tickets. Folks, if you're able bodied and you want to collect a check from the government, contribute. If you don't want to collect a check from the government, get a job. That's all I'm saying. And if you don't like it, 
Cash Solano's not afraid to tell you, smoke them, because that's the right thing to do. My uncle was embarrassed. My uncle didn't have a job in the 50s. Guess what? He had to collect welfare at the time. But guess what he had to do at welfare? He had to go down to Shalott Beach, and he had to rake the sand, he had to take the seaweed out, he had to pick up empty bottles, he had to pick up litter to get his check. He was embarrassed by it, but he did it. That's the way he got his money. And he was ashamed, but he didn't go get Air Jordans or uh, whoever was a famous basketball player at the time, because I don't know, I don't pay attention to basketball because the guy's got third grade education, most of them to play the game. But what they did in those days, they had Buster Brown shoes. Everybody wore the same pair of shoes. You couldn't afford it, you get this shoe, that everybody wears. Nowadays, the poor people are starving, they're all fat. We got poor people that they say they're starving in our country and most of them are fat. You wanna see poor people? You go to one of those African countries and you see people with their stomachs sagging in, sucked in, they're starving. They don't have air conditioning, they don't have a DVR, they don't have a, a DVD player, they don't, they don't have anything, they don't have a car. They don't, they don't get all kinds of food. They don't eat four or five meals a day. No. United States, we're hungry. We're hungry. What do you do? Well, I really can't find a job. Well, how hard do you look? Well, there's no job that will pay me for sitting on my ass. Folks, am I saying that nobody deserves the help of the government? No, I'm not. Okay? Am I being flamboyant about it? Yes, I am. But to be honest with you, there's plenty of things to do. If you can't contribute, if you can't find a job, do something. Make the city cleaner. Plant flowers. Do something, but don't just take the dime of the government and just keep on taking it every month and having fun every day because it's business as usual. Time to contribute. Folks, after the Civil War, the people had a choice, stay in the United States or you go to Liberia. You had your choice. People that went to Liberia, they went. It's a failed, failed country. Really, really didn't get out of their own way. They didn't want to contribute. People that stood in the United States, a lot of them made it. Some of them didn't. Some of them, oh, please, please, please help me. You know what? I'm a victim. I'm a victim. How long are you going to be a victim for? I was a victim. Not so much, but my father was a victim. My grandparents were a victim. They had to change their name from Benedetto to, or Tommaso to Bennett or Thomas, okay? But they pulled out of it. That's just recent. We're not talking about a couple hundred years. How long does it take yourself to pull out of your To pull out of victimhood? Folks, wake up. Everybody contribute, let's all help each other. I believe anybody that's qualified should get the job. I don't think Anybody should discriminate against any race, color, or creed. I think people should be able to work if they want to work. If they don't want to work, I don't want to help you. I don't want to work overtime. I don't want to give up my family time or my time to be with friends or to enjoy myself after I put my 40-hour week so I could pay for some loafer that wants to drink uh, shots and play lottery tickets and hang around outside selling drugs. I wouldn't mind helping old people, I wouldn't mind helping handicapped people, and I don't mind helping people that are in need, or female if their spouse left them. But I don't want to help it. I don't want to help loafers. I don't want to help lazy people. I want to help people that need help. Castellano says so. If you don't like what I'm saying, I don't care. I don't care because I'm fed up. Okay, I've been working my butt off. You know, wait a minute. I used to be a loafer. I love free things, but I grew up. Guess what? I wasn't getting ahead. I didn't have a house. I got my paycheck. It was spent by. I spent it. Spent it the weekend. I got it paid on Friday. I was broke by Saturday. Okay. Then all of a sudden, I wanted stuff. I started saving. I started using coupons. Buy one Whopper, get one Whopper free. Okay, I saved empty bottles and I cashed them in. But Castellano, why would you do such a thing? Because I wanted to get ahead. And now I got a beautiful house, I got cars, and I have money. 
Am I blessed? Yes, but I worked for it also. Folks, wake up. The American dream is there for everybody. You're watching the Rick Castellano show. And if I sound like I'm being too harsh to anybody, I love everybody, but please, wake up. Do something about it. Yeah. <laughs>